what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the Sideshow Collectibles Star Wars R2-D2 6 scale deluxe figure now this has been released like years ago but I think they kind of like updated I don't think they did anything to like the paint or like accessories or anything like that but this version I do have it is supposed to be the actual deluxe version, but I do notice that my box is kind of different from the ones that were released like in the past. So this is a Sideshow Collectibles R2-D2 figure that I have right here. And of course, you know R2-D2 is the actual droid from uh, the Star Wars like film series. And I have the first six films right here on Blu-ray. Now I actually have all the Star Wars films like on video, you know, but I'm just giving that an example. So yeah, I'm definitely kind of excited about having this because I never had like an R2-D2 figure. And I do have C-3PO too as well, so I'm definitely excited about getting to this, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and start this right now. <laughs> as you can see, this is the box that contains the R2-D2 figure. Now right now, mine actually just says R2-D2. When you see it, it doesn't say Deluxe on it. Because I know the previous versions of this had like that white like mark on it. And it said, I think, I don't think it said Deluxe, but I think it said 6 scale on it, if I can remember correctly. And they have an image of uh, R2-D2 on the back too. And that's awesome. So I'm going to open this on up, and I do notice this is how you open this particular version because I do believe this has been like updated, you know. And then when you take it off, it does say a uh, deluxe scale figure R2D2 deluxe, as you can see right now. R2 deluxe six scale figure. So when you actually take this out of this art right here, this actually confirms that it was the actual six scale figure. And of course, this is R2 <laughs> on the inside with all his accessories and so on. So I am definitely excited about having this. And so I'm going to pull all this on out. <laughs> As usual, with like a lot of like six scale figures, you have the instructions for how you assemble R2. I know this is kind of like small too, but he does have like a lot of uh, things that you can do with it. So I'm going to get into this right now. As you can see, there's the R2-D2 6 scale figure from the uh, Sideshow Collectibles. So I'm going to just measure him. And wow, R2-D2 is almost 8 inches in height. He's like just over 7 inches. Uh -huh. So I guess I'll talk about the likeness and the uh, detail with, you know, to uh, R2-D2 from the films. Now I know this isn't a Hot Toys figure. I know a lot of people complain, you know, that uh, Hot Toys are better than a uh, Sideshow. But you can still tell that they've done a pretty uh, good job on this. Now, I've heard too of how like, light he feels. He feels like very like, flimsy light and it, it is like a light figure. Because even I must admit, I would have preferred if this was like all die cast metals. That would have been awesome because then he would probably have like, some weight to it, you know. But the actual detail on this, I can't believe it just looks so like realistic. And it's like wetter than dirty. When you look at it, he even has like scratches all around his dome. <laughs> like he's been like through some like a lot of like I guess you could say wars, battles. He's even like dirty too, like R2. He's also even like filthy and like dirty too. So I think that's kind of cool, especially around like the uh, the foot area. You can see like the dirt stains and so on on him. This is really beautiful. I see his head turns too. I know it can go 360 degrees too, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, the detail, they've done a pretty good job with like the detail on this. And this is awesome. And it does feel like light too, as well. Now you can also uh, bear uh, two R2's legs back like this, too, as well, if you want. You know, when you have BBs like in this position like that. And he does roll too. You can see him rolling around. Cause he does have like a uh, wheels like on his feet too. He also has like the third leg right there too, which I touch on. And he also has like these wires right here. It really looks detailed, like realistic. But I'm still amazed at how dirty and like a uh, rusty and like scratched up it is. You know, like the detail. Like he's like very like wetter. Like he's been through some like rough stuff. But I do notice his feet or his third leg. I think you have to push it if I'm not mistaken. Then it comes out. So let's see if I can do it. And there it is. It does actually come out like a stir leg. So I think that's how you can actually uh, you can position R2 like this too. You can still have them like rolling around. Then I think you just push this back and it locks back in. 
But I must admit, the detail, like I say, I know I keep saying it over and over, it just looks awesome. It really looks like, like dirty and rusted and stuff. I like that. It, it looks realistic, you know. <laughs> now I want to move on to the accessories that come with the uh, Sideshow Collectibles R2-D2 figure. Now this right here is uh, the table of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi that he had like in his uh, house, you know, when Luke Skywalker came to him, well, when he actually rescued Luke from the Tuscan Raiders or the Sand People. So as you can see, this is how it actually looks. And there's also like a, like batteries in it, which has like a lid light feature on it. So I guess I'll take this out right now, so I can be able to cut the light on. Then if you notice too, also, there's like this thing up there that I have to actually use, like something to actually open it up, so I'll show that. But then you also get this um, Princess Leia hologram too, and I think that's cool. The detail in that, you can actually see like the hood around her head. So I think that's, that's done very well. Even like her cinnamon buns, you know, her style. Because it has like a peg right there where you have to stick into the table, so I show that. Now one of the things I do think is cool about this R2-D2 figure is that a uh, Sideshow Collectibles they gave you a Luke Skywalker's lightsaber from Return of the Jedi but this was an accessory that should have went for R2 because he did have a Luke Skywalker's lightsaber on Return of the Jedi you know so uh, they give you this to actually use as like a magnet to actually open up compartments like on R2 and it's like this table rail because for instance you can do this like you see that hole right there you would take this and then you just pull that out and it actually shot up too I didn't even have to touch it as you can see so I think that's pretty cool then what you would do is take the uh, layer hologram and then you would just stick it into this hole right here it looks like she went in pretty easily and from what I'm hearing it's actually like a button in here too to actually cut this on I forget which one it is oh okay yeah it's that one so as you can see one of these things right here, I forget what that's even called. If you press it, it will actually cut lay on. You can see a hologram. It actually has like a lead light in it. That is awesome. <laughs> I really am impressed with that. Then you mash it again, you know, <laughs> to cut it off. <laughs> awesome accessory. And another thing I think is cool about this light up table too is that it already had the batteries in it for once. You didn't have to put batteries in it, you know, something that was kind of cool. But now I'm going to touch on like these compartments that are on our R2-D2. Like with this magnet lightsaber, which has like the magnet at the uh, bottom of it, what you would do with R2 is you can actually open all like his compartments. Right here, like see like those compartments, like I think this one can open. See how I open that? And when you look on the inside, some of these also have like these uh, things that I'll touch on those like later. But as you can see, you can open all of them up. You can even like close them back. I think even this one opens. Yeah, even that one opens. Let me try to give a better demonstration of it if I can. Yeah, see how you can see that opens. So I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, all those open up. Like that one opens. Let me see if I can get it all the way. I want to break it off. So you can see all these compartments that actually open up on R2. So you can see all of them actually like open up and have like stuff in them as you can see. So I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> then he also has it at the uh, the top too. And I think I probably, I don't know if I missed any, but I think he has them at the top too. Because if you look up here on this dome, you can take the one at the top off. Like this one doesn't want to stay. And that's where uh, Luke Skywalker lightsaber. I, actually, no, that's not where he's at. That's where you can put like another accessory, you know, if you want, on top of his head. I think like the cups. But even some of these open too, but not all of them. Let me see if I can get them. I know some of these up top actually open too as well just to give a demonstration and plus oh yeah these open too as well like these blue like things if you touch on they'll open up too you actually don't even have to touch it it actually just like t opens when you put it on there so you can even open these up too so I'm gonna close them back so 
So I think it's cool that we can use this to open all R2 or D2's compartments. And this is what I was trying to get out, get to pop out of R2, like these rail. Now, of course, you can kind of recognize some of these from like the various films, like in the series. I think this is the thing he had, like when he was in the water, like on Dig Above. When R2 fell in the water, and you see it went back in. And I think this is when he was like scanning for like a, I think a Luke, I think, when it was on Hoth. Even like other scenes too, I believe. That's why I think it's kind of cool about this R2 figure. Is that it's actually like a mixture of the whole entire like original trilogy, like the features and accessories that he has. It's like a mixture of the uh, whole entire uh, original trilogy. Now I want to continue on through like the accessories that come with the uh, Sideshow R2 D2 Deluxe figure. Now he has like this cup display stand, like this like serving table. Now this is from Return of the Jedi when he was like in Jabba's palace, where on the uh, Jabba sail barge and it was on the sail barge because you know that's when they was taking like. Luke Han, like Chewie, you know, lay all them out to the, uh, the Sarlacc pit. But yeah, uh, this right is like a, uh, the accessories that it has. You have like seven cups right here. And they have like fluid in them too. <laughs> so it looks like it's like some green, like, drink in it. They also have like these pegs underneath them. And you actually have to hook these onto like the, uh, these two trays right here, as you can see. Like these trays, you actually have to hook them onto these. And then you have these two like arm like things that will go like on the top of R2. They will like go right on. So I get that an example. See that's how the uh, those uh, table legs look. They go on R2 like that, and they have like these two holes at the top of them. Then what you would do is take these uh, trays, and they have like the pegs on them, and then you would just hook it. And this time you can hook it any kind of way, you know. Yeah, because when you look at it, you can tell that these actually have to hook together too. Like these two, because it has like a peg on it, then it's like two holes right there at the top. So you actually have to hook these together. So let's see if I can do it. I don't want to press it too hard, it might break enough. But as you can see, it does go together like that. Then you would take these and just put it on the top. It's, it looks like it's easy to assemble, you know. There's no question I'll probably spray R2 like this too at times. And when you look at it, it looks like you probably should have did the table first, then did these, you know. So I'm going to see if I can do it. Looks when it's actually done. I don't think I actually had that down enough though. Then you would just sit these cups right here on the top. So I'm going to see if I can do these. They actually go in pretty easy too. So that's how the cups will look. And as you can see, that's how the cups actually look on R2. Then what you would do is just take this and just put it right up there like that. Yeah. So I think that is a cool uh, feature. <laughs> There's J uh, R2 in, uh, on the cell bar, the Jabba cell bar, when he was serving the drinks. <laughs> there one more thing that uh, you can do with R2. Here's his arm too that he had that came out the top of his dome. So what you actually have to do is take the magnet, open it on up at the top, then this will like go on the inside somewhere. And as you can see it has all these different like hinges and like pivots, pivots I think where you can like turn it or so on. Because there's like the bottom uh, hole right there where you actually screw it into R2's head and then just go in at the top. And we'll do it. And you can turn it all around too, so there it is. So now you even have like the other uh, arm that could serve like the other uh, drinks. And the people on those sat Jabba's bars, so I think that's kind of cool. There's even the cough like grabbing it. <laughs> that's awesome. So there's no question I'd be displaying R2 like that, you know. <laughs> then like the uh, other accessories that R2D2 have are these actual his like mechanical like arms that come out like his compartments, right? Like when you open them, you actually can attach these like on the inside because he had like this one right which I think is known as the uh, I think like the grasping arm it's like a claw where you can actually grab stuff because you did use this a lot throughout the films then you have uh, two other ones too like they have like the um, the terminal arm and this other arm too as well so you have like three different uh, arms and you can attach these like an R2. Like if you open one of these compartments, you can put them like on the inside of him. 
and they were like, hang out. I probably will do some of them. Some of them actually already are in there, you know, but I didn't want to come bother with them. Like some of them already actually are built in there, but I just leave it down. Then R2D2 also even has like the restraining bolt too as well, like the restraining bolt. If you want to like, you know, keep them on lockdown. And I think it just magnetized, like it hooks on somewhere. So I'm going to see if I can find it. I'm not sure exactly where. Yeah, there it goes. That's where you can hook the uh, restraining bolt on R2 right there, as you can see. <laughs> and that's one of the compartments that you can, you have you can, you can open. So that's kind of odd. So I probably will always leave that on him too, cause I leave it on my uh, three PO. And the last thing I want to talk about, as far as like the uh, things that this this R2 D2 can do, is this actual lead like feature, just like uh, the holodeck of Princess Leia. Hologram Princess there has a lead light feature. R2D2 of course has his lights too. Now if anything, I do notice that he didn't have any sounds, you know, like his beeps and whistles. That would have been cool if he had that, you know. But he does have like a light up feature which is right here on top of his head. I think you actually have to take R2D2's like a head. And from what I hear, you actually have to hold down this gray part right there. Where you can see like my finger is that silver right there. Then you would turn it uh I think counterclockwise. And that's where it'll come off. So I'm gonna see if I can do it. And when you do that, you will have to tilt R2D2's like head, like counterclockwise, and you can pull this off. And you can see uh, that that's where the actual batteries are for R2D2. And they already are supposedly in here because you can't slide the uh, the plastic tab right there but that you have to pull out on their light batteries. So then I'm gonna see if it actually cuts on. If you look closer, there's also like the uh, the switch right there for turning uh, the lights on. So you actually have to turn these on. So now they'll be actually act activated. So I'm going to see if I can give them the uh, cut on. Now once you have it done, you just take R2-D2 right here. If you look right on the side, there's like this touch thing right here, like a touch thing that can turn the lights on. And there's lights. <laughs> that is so awesome, I must admit. That is cool. You can just like the uh, like the way that red does, like those white part look. I think that's cool too. And I think he has like different uh, lights too. Cause I don't know if you keep tapping it, it will change like to different features of the lights. So as you can see, they are even on the back too as well. So I think that's an awesome uh, LED light display. You know, cause I know if you do it again, it'll cut on like the actual hologram light right there. But you can see that white one right there. It cuts that one on. Then if you do it again, it actually cuts it off. So I do think that's an awesome feature to have. And there's no question I'd be displaying my R2 like that, you know. All things missing, like I say. And I'm surprised other people didn't really complain about it too much. As he don't make no whistles or any kind of like sound effects. You know, like R2 is constantly like whistling and stuff, you know. So I'm surprised they didn't give him that kind of feature. But yeah, I think this is really awesome. <laughs> now I want to bring out the perfect companion for R2D2. And that is C three P O. That's why I'm so happy, you know, and excited. I actually finally got the uh, R two. I mean D two figure because I already had C three P O. And both of these are from Science Collectibles. Now I know uh, Hot Toys did like a R two D two figure here recently, you know, but I had missed out on that one, so I just picked up the Science Collectible one. But as you can see, here's like three P O two. And of course, he also has like the lead like feature too, which is like on his head. So as you can see, I can cut his eyes on and off. So yeah, I think these two, of course, go easily together, you know. <laughs> There's no question. If you had, like, only three people, you had to get R2. If you had, like, R2, you had to get, like, three people because they definitely go, like, good together, you know. So I'm definitely excited about having these two. I think these are awesome. <laughs> and as you can see, my three PO cut his lights back on. We're off. Has even a uh, restraining bolt, too, right there, which I always keep on. And it never falls off, either. Okay, there's the Sideshow Collectibles R2-D2 Deluxe Scale figure. Now, I am very impressed with this. This is actually way better than I thought. Now, I must admit, he does like film like very like lightweight, like R2-D2 itself. So, you think it would feel like just like a little typical like like figure, you know. But, uh, it is still like highly detailed. Like the, the dirt and the grime, like the roughness and like the scratches on R2. He's like very like weathered, like he's been to like a lot of like battles and so on, like stuff, you know. So I think they did a good job on that. And the light up features that he has is like very awesome. If anything, 
it seemed like R2 should have had like some sound effects too, like he's like whistling, because he's always like whistling, like beeping and all that, like constantly, you know. So it seemed like they should have had him at least doing that too as well. Now I know Hot Toys had their own version of it too, so I'm not too sure if that did that. And I think the accessories that R2D2 has is also awesome too as well, because it seems like it's a mixture of like the first trilogy, like episode 4, 5, and 6, you know, like A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of Jack. And it's like all his accessories and the things that he has is like a mixture of those first three Star Wars films, you know. So I think that's awesome that they actually combine like all those like films together with some of the accessories. You, know, you have stuff from like Return of Jedi, like the, the cups, like uh, the, holo uh, the hologram of Pistol there from A New Hope, the Empire Strikes Back, some of like the sonar, like his arm things, you know, come out his dome and stuff, you know. Nothing that's awesome. Of course, this is based on the uh, the Astro Mech Droid from uh, the Star Wars like film series, which I have right on the Blu-ray. The first six films. I actually have all the Star Wars films like on uh, like on video. But yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up. This is awesome, and it's a definitely good companion piece to like C three PO. C three PO. If you have C three PO, I would definitely recommend getting this. You know. So anyway, uh, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well. <laughs> Dun 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 d